2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Review, Late But Great But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. For a brand so synonymous with SUVs, Jeep, surprisingly, hasn't been super competitive in the full-size three-row space. In fact, the last three-row it sold in the US was the Commander, which was so unpleasant that we probably don't need to expand on it. The new 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L, as the L in the name implies, is the brand's first serious competitor in this segment and it arrives packing plenty of ammunition. Look past the Grand Cherokee's modest exterior and you'll find a properly upscale cabin with enough room for seven passengers to sit comfortably in this configuration. Uconnect 5 also makes its debut in the Grand Cherokee, as does the Active Driver Assist, and both of those systems rival the best alternatives in the business. And this is also one of the few midsize three rows with an available V8, if you feel so inclined. Bottom line, while Jeep may have arrived late to the space, it's instantly one of the best options in the class. The Grand Cherokee L doesn't immediately wow you with its good looks. Instead, it builds upon its predecessor's rugged styling with a flat hood line, slim headlights, and a large lower opening beneath the iconic 7-slat grille. This Overland model also gets polished silvery trim around the grille pieces and lower opening. We're not too fond of the faux chrome treatment, but some customers will probably appreciate the upscale add-on compared to lesser trims. The wheels are a set of 20-inch, 10-spoke units that fit the personality of the Grand Cherokee exceptionally well, and the velvet red paint is common on the Grand Cherokee, even though it is a $345 option. The shiny stuff on the front fascia extends to the side profile and across the trunk lid, and it doesn't look any better in the rear. Thankfully, the slim LED taillights with a two-tone red and white housing do most of the heavy lifting stylistically. The cabin looks clean, with a mix of high-quality materials like aluminum, wood, and on this Overland model, standard Napa leather. There are some chintzy plastics within reach and wood on the steering wheel is clearly fake, but that's not uncommon for the class. The center screen looks sleek though, it's a 10.1-inch display that blends seamlessly into the center console. The Jeep Grand Cherokee L feels spacious, which is kind of the point. The three-row model is 15.1 inches longer than the previous two-row Grand Cherokee, and has a wheelbase that is 7.0 inches longer too. With that, the 39.8 inches of front headroom and 41.3 inches of legroom are more than plenty. Neither of those numbers is best in class, but they are on the upper end of the segment. By comparison, the Nissan Pathfinder has the most headroom in the class at 42.3 inches, while the Ford Explorer has the most legroom at 43.0 inches.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.